Hi family, it's Herbless Viola and I just want to talk about the times that we're living in now with the virus, the just the whole staying at home and some states are open, some states are closed and wearing masks and wearing gloves and washing your hands and just life in general and uh, just just want to talk. If you can, subscribe, <laughs> like, share my videos. Just want to go ahead and put that out there. But I just want to talk a little bit about um, really what's going on. I really didn't want to really talk about the virus or my opinion, but just just want to just talk a little bit. <laughs> just what's on my heart and what's in my mind. You guys, uh, my people, you got to get out there and get in the sun. There, there. If you could just research for yourself, they're saying study shows it actually with vitamin D, it actually help. <laughs> it, it helps. It helps your immune system. It helps fight off or really not fight, but it just helps you. It helps kind of protect you. And that's the one thing we already know it help. It, it hurts your lungs. So you want to protect your lungs. So seriously, get out in the sun. If you if you're not in the sun, if you're in a job where you don't get out, you have to rearrange your life, rearrange your schedule. Get out in the sun. Think about our ancestors. We stayed in the sun. We grew our own vegetables. <laughs> we had our own, you know, we had our own garden. We had our own um, livestock. We had our own. And just think, you was in the sun. You're wondering why we lived, you know, in our hundreds because we was in the sun. You guys, this this day and age, what's going on now, you do need vitamin D. It's critical. We are, you know, okay, so colored, dark, darker skin, African Americans, black, whatever. If your skin is dark, it's saying that in the United States, we're 90% vitamin def deficient i know i talked about it before but if you research studies showing that vitamin d is actually helping you know help like you know before with the flu and with colds if you raise your immune system really much make sure you are getting the enough supplements i'd rather you get out in the sun i know it was a question as far as about do we need sunblock or sunscreen no, <laughs> no, you do not need sunblock. Why would you need sunblock? We want to we want to soak in the sun. It's something in the sun that helps. It helps your body. It helps your body heal itself. Yes, your body, the, the creator, created our body to heal itself. So if you fast, if you drink water, if you take supplements, eat fruits and vegetables, your body will repair itself. It would actually heal itself. That's the main reason why I was talking about fasting. Your body, you, you we want to have preventive preventing you want to prevent getting illnesses you want to prevent getting sick you, you want to you know live better get over what's going on now and what's going on now no one seems to know really where it's coming from you know you hear this you hear that just just sit back and listen listen to your body think about just you know do process elimination then you can figure out what's really going on you know uh we all critical thinkers just you know uh think think about your body think about your family think about uh if you know somebody who has it what the symptoms are you know if you went to the doctor and what the doctor told you and you know just just do a process of elimination in yourself but anyway get out in the sun if you have to take vitamin d take vitamin d is very very critical just gonna just go over some things that's going on um food prices are going up so it's it's best to start you know i'm looking at preppers and i was like wow look at all this stuff with preppers so if you can stock up at least three to six months you just never know you know uh not saying go broke just buy you know when you go out by a little at a time every week when you go shopping pick up maybe five cans just do something stock up food put stuff in the freezer you you know i i really don't know but i'm just noticing that food prices are going up little by little um grocery stores are empty it's just so much so you just never know and now that they're saying about the money the coins where <laughs> turning your coins 
we already know we always save coins we always you know stock the coins just save some of your coins if you want to turn some in turn some in but it's good to save some money it's good to have some money because you want to barter we just never know if we're going to if we're going to get locked down again think about think about when it first happened back in march think about it think about what place you was in so it's best now to if you're back at work and if you're back you know if you just decide to open a business like i did think about where you was at that point change now take your time change now seriously change now that's that's all i can tell you you know we just gotta really think and see what's going on um if you're not back at work you know i'm i'm sorry but <laughs> create a business we got so much free information out there put a comment down i'll tell you how i started <laughs> Just, you know, let me know. I'll, I'll just tell you here. I'm 53. I started my own business. I, you know, was in an herbal course. Herbalist Kareem helped me, you know, did collaborations. But the times we are now, there's so much information. Herbalist Kareem, if you look, if you go to Four Cycles of Life, you already see on his YouTube channel, he shows you, he's giving you the steps, all the steps as far as about creating a business. But back to the times we're in now we just don't know what's going on um you know i i, I just want to talk to you get vitamin d take <laughs> y'all don't understand you really need to get vitamin d i don't really know how much to tell you that and just uh, uh, uh going back to sunscreen i can see if you are if you are going to go to the beach or if you're like we can't really go anywhere now, but let's say if you was going to be on the sun for at least nine to 10 hours, I can see that you, you know, my, you know, the darker you are, you really need the sun. If you are uh, start feeling yourself to get hot, go, you know, go sit in the shade. You don't want to just be out there. All we want you to, all I would recommend for you to do just to get the vitamin D. If you go out there hour, if you can go out there two hours, it's okay. If you get a little dark, it's okay. But you need to soak in that vitamin D. The vitamin D is critical. Just going to go over a few things. Um, just like, you know, with antibiotics, we already know our bodies, uh, is bacteria. You want the good, you want the good stuff. You don't want the bad stuff, but if you happen to have an infection or, or, or a virus or a bacteria, it's always good to just ask your doctor to give you something natural. Look online, speak to an herbalist, speak to a nutritionist, speak to someone in the field and just ask, is there something natural? Look, if you in pain and if you need something stronger, by all means, get the medication, get the um get what the doctor prescribed but there are natural things out there um you look at the slide so many so many natural ways so many natural antibiotics stuff that that helps infections help viruses there's there's, there's so many things that you can do just want to put that out there and for us about milk alternative only thing with the milk alternatives like back in the day when we did have a whole bunch of farmers and you could just go get the milk straight from the cow that's that's the the best milk but you can't get that type of milk now the the milk that's in the store is totally changed or has all these um stuff in it <laughs> not gonna go there but if you can do a milk alternatives i use flaxseed milk flaxseed because it's seeds and you can make it out of flax seeds, and it's just so simple so easy to make it you know get some flax seeds you can soak it that's totally up to you you know puts a cup a cup or a cup and a half it's totally of you uh, what you want to do i put a little sometimes put a little hemp powder in there and i'll put in maybe out three or four dates for the sweetness blend it up and there's my milk with water there's my milk so there's plenty of coconut milk there's all different types of milk but it all depends on you the what's going on now is a people a lot of people don't know they have allergies to nuts some people got allergies to nuts and don't don't know it. It's the the some of the rice some of the the um you know the pasta the the starch it's i don't know it's something i don't know what the change is but it's something in there that's irritating people that's causing you to have all these issues and and sickness and you know it's just causing you to have so much issues but just want to just just the stuff that's going on now um it's just, it's just so much and for us about the mask if you can wash the mask 
if you need to walk around three or four masks, I would do that. If you work in an eight hour job and you got to wear a mask, I would definitely change a mask every three hours. And like Viola, I'm not doing that. Just better for your health. Better for your health. You know, I, I listen, they say the mask is just holding in particles and you just breathing it in. You know, every once in a while, you know, get some air, go outside, get the sun. It's just it's just a whole lot of stuff and the news oh my gosh I don't even watch the news <laughs> I don't even watch the news it's too much fear and you know you don't need that you don't need that if you can you know I know we talked about I'm, t I'm saying things over and over again but we're talking about the times we're in now with this uh, with this thing that's hanging over us you guys um, just just uh, take your time think critical think you know just just look at things just sit back and kind of look at things take <laughs> take it slow you know you want to prep um, I have notes of things I want to talk about um, uh, like with money situation if you can you know store a little bit of money at, at home it's nothing wrong with that um, I feel if we do go into a cashless society, you know, everything is tracked. I'm like, I don't want no one tracking what I eat and what I buy so somebody can sell my information. No, I don't want that. I want to be free where I can use cash credit, you know, an option. It shouldn't be, I don't want it mandatory. Not saying that's what it's going in, but me just sitting back looking at it, that's what it seemed like, you know, was going on. And I know I should be talking about herbal, but it does say very wise alternatives. So <laughs> this is a wise alternative. Keep your change. Stock up some food, you guys. If you can, just check out pep preppers. Just check it out. It's so much. It's so much stuff. Uh, <laughs> get some dry, dry stuff do it yourself get your a hydrator you know grow you some some fruits and vegetables and you don't have to forget that grow maybe some tomatoes or cucumbers grow some potatoes you know that will save you some money there so grow you don't know, you got some spinach they got so many different wonderful things out where you can grow stuff that you like you know like especially like salad you know you can grow some lettuce some spinach and that that that'll help but from the times we in now, you know, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's different. It's, uh, I don't know, it's, <laughs> it really like get on my nerve to tell you the truth, but far as about that, but go over my notes, make sure I went over there. Okay. Again, about the sunscreen for us, we really don't need sunscreen. We don't need sunblock. Only time you need it, like, like. I remember we went to Disney World. I took my kids to Disney World. After we was out there three, four hours and really in the sun, if you, well, let's say if you're at the beach and you in the sun, it's okay to put some sunscreen, but our, our folks with the dark and melanin, you don't really need any sunscreen. Like when I tell people go out there and sun gaze, you don't need the sun. You don't need sunscreen. You don't need no sunblock. You don't need anything. You need to go in there. My brothers and sisters need to go in there and just be out there and be like, yes. <laughs> and just soak it all up. Just soak it all up because look, you need it. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, you really need it. <laughs> look, <laughs> that's why we sick now. You that's why we sick now that is the main reason why we sick now because we do not know we do not know what's going on with our bodies our bodies are talking to us our bodies are telling us hey yo um there's something wrong there's something wrong you know your body's screaming your body you know we wait for our body to scream instead of doing uh preventive you know maintenance on our body like drinking water doing some exercise get out in the sun making sure you eat enough fruits and vegetables and you know instead of how to junk food a lot of processed food we are living in a fast-paced world slow it down let's get back into cooking you know with all the spices and herbs and fruits and vegetables and you know just get back in there and just put love in the kitchen it's okay to go out every once in a while i'm not saying that but try to buy food on the perimeter on the outside of the you know <laughs> if you go in a supermarket buy on the outside rarely go on the inside if you need to go in, in in inside shelves you know get your you know your uh your toiletries and stuff like that but 
just shop on the outside and you'll be surprised at what I'm talking about. You'll be surprised on your health. But okay, let's go and make sure. Um, I think that is it. Because, okay, so far as the copper cups, I know we was talking about the copper cups at one time. Yes, it's good to have the copper cups, but you need some vitamin vitamin E because you get too much metals. You don't want too much medical, metal, metals getting in your brain because it sometimes kind of uh, affects your brain. So that's why I want to tell you about the copper cups. But there's some good stuff because you can always bother with your copper later. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, yeah store some money at home i know it's a lot of stuff going on like i said think back when the, when all this stuff happened and we got locked down just take your time and look if you if you go to the store don't be ashamed if you gotta if you want to go get a refund don't be ashamed if if you look at it and you say well i can't afford this rent move um, this day and time, if, if situations is really bad at home, move in with some family and friends, uh, you know, we just got to do what we got to do. We know how to survive. Get, I'm telling you, grow your, get, get your business, get a business. I'm just trying to tell you during this pandemic is so much time to learn so much time to grow. It's time to, you know, heal families, get all these, uh, you know, curses or whatever family curses, generator curses stop all that forgive love i'm trying to tell you love conquers all give love more love i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you this time it's time to just check yourself love yourself listen to your body correct your health this time this during this time during this lockdown and half lockdown and all this other stuff no no we go over out you know go to different countries i mean some countries don't even don't even want us I mean, it tells you something, but all in all, I just want to talk about this time. This time, it, it, it changed a lot of people, you know, some good, some bad, but it really showed you who you are, who you lived around, who you can be, your strengths and weaknesses. If you didn't learn anything from this pandemic, believe me, I feel, so, I feel sorry for you, but you do need to change. You do need to pretty much grow. I mean, ugh, it's... It's, it's just too much, too much, too much, too much. But anyway, um, just wanted to share that with you. I know I went off on so many different things, but look, this pandemic is no joke. It's no joke. And, you know, just, just take heed if you need to, you know, watch this video again. I'm not going to go back over a lot of things I said, but critical thinking, I'm trying to say the critical thinking, you guys. You guys take care. I love you. Have a great day. And it's time to grow. Bye.